as I have told you earlier also, that ascendant is a very important house. Ascendant decides success or otherwise of the native. And then there are multiple types of ascendant. So now let's try to understand how the ascendant lord in different houses and different planets in the ascendant behave. As ascendant lord behaves in different houses, different house lords also behave the same manner in the ascendant, though there are slight differences. And of course, everything cannot be covered in one single video itself. But still, it will give you a very good idea of how things work. Also, if you seriously study and watch all of my videos with properly taking notes, and as you repeatedly watch my videos, as you will notice that every time you watch the video, though you have already watched it, but when you watch it next time, new details come out to you. You will slowly, slowly learn good astrology, which is better than 70% of practicing astrologers even. And that is what many people have uh, felt themselves and they have gave me feedback about it. So a serious learning approach is what you will need. Now coming to the first planet, sun in the ascendant. If there is sun in the ascendant, one thing is their hair fall problem. Everyone knows this. Sun in the ascendant gives hair fall problem. Another thing, another uses of this is if you are having a planet in ascendant and the result is not matching, it's because the horoscope probably needs rectification. So as per the result of planet in houses, why it becomes very important? Because if the result of planet in houses are not matching, we opt for rectification in all my consultations because without a correct birth time reading a horoscope is futile. In all my consultations, I essentially do rectification of all horoscope, despite the fact, even if the native claims that my birth detail is correct. All right, that's the first thing. So, sun in the ascendant gives hair fall problem. This will also be true. The result of planet in the ascendant will also be true if the planet is aspecting the ascendant, right? That is to be kept in mind. Another thing with sun in the ascendant, it, it does not make the native very strong very tall. So it is either, either a medium height or small height. It gives a square body. So native is fairly built. You cannot say native is fat. Neither the native is thin. The native is of appropriate white height and weight proportion. Now, if someone is a child, then generally children are more tall and not fat. So of course, this you can only see in the horoscope of full grown people after the age of, you know, 28, 30 only. So such childish foolish things should not be thought or asked, right? Common sense you have to use. As I always say, astrology is an intellectual science and common sense while reading astrology should be applied. Common sense you cannot leave at home. Added to this sun in the ascendant, people say that sun in the ascendant makes the native egoistic. I will not say that. It does not make the native egoistic. But the native have you know, respect for the self, right? And native cannot take humiliation. Native cannot take insult. So if someone is trying to humiliate or insult the native in that particular scenario, native will show ego and the relationship can go sore as well. But other than that, ego is not there. It is better to say that native have good self-esteem. Son in the ascendant, what I have seen that either the father is not present or much support from father is not there. So that is also one result and specifically relationship with siblings and other male members of the family is also not very good. That is also bad. Such people, though you may think that son in the ascendant gives government job, it gives also. But one gets government job after trying multiple times only, it is not a very easy task, right? Most importantly, sun in the ascendant makes the native high achiever in life. And generally such people have a very attractive and beautiful face. These people are authoritative. They have, you know, good resources, good income, good property, many servants to serve them. Many people to obey their order are there. 
generally female members of the family except for the natives prominent and female members generally rule the family if there is son in the ascendant native have children native have happiness from children native also enjoys native also enjoys because of children the children of the native make them proud but in the initial part of life up to the age of 30 35 there is struggle and nothing is uh, easily found in life child birth also comes with a little bit of delay some initial abortions can be there and only if the first child is female it is auspicious for the native if the first child is male then children can be problematic and trouble creating for the native as well son in the ascendant also gives differences with life partner marriage happens late there is a difference between the social and the mental status of native and the life partner and either of the partner is ashamed of the another person the life partner though naturally beautiful does not like to you know appear or have a good dressing sense which annoys the native also the speaking and other habits of the native other habits of the spouse also annoys the native which then results into uh, separation and dissatisfaction in marriage as well generally son in the ascendants either give separation from the life partner or some major like i should not say death of life partner but it generally happens death separation or you know unavailability of life partner is very common with son in the ascendant many a times because of life partner great mental trauma and social shame is caused that is also a major result of sun in the ascendant person generally does not travel much they are born and living and settled in almost the same area for their complete life they generally remain in same area itself native have much happiness from land and property native will own multiple property and multiple lands income through land and property and invest income through investments in land and property will also be there other than that for betterment native should be disciplined should if the native is rising before sunrise not eating food after 10 in the evening and if the native is following a strict discipline then it is very good for the native native should also practice regular donation at least once a month on every amavasya the native should donate and whoever comes to native for help or in the time of need native should always try to help them with the best of their capability this is the best remedy for this native and once they start doing it they will see that gradually and slowly their life have changed for better and in one two years when they look back what i was before doing the remedy and what i am now they will see that they have uh, you know they have witnessed growth two to three times more than what was naturally happening right with moon in the ascendancy moon is good in ascendant only in capricorn rashi in other rashis moon in ascendant is not good as in it gives fluctuations and ups and downs in life point 1 secondarily it also gives health problem at least up to the age of 30 major health problems are there moon in the ascendant makes makes the native very popular beautiful they are surrounded by people of the opposite gender they have multiple relationships very much attached to their mother they are blessed by their family generally in inheritance and from their family members from their elders they gain much they have multiple conveniences and sources of happiness in life they have very good relationship with their uh, sisters and many a times their sisters help them a lot these people at least once in their life are completely being taken care of by their spouses their spouse loves them a lot adores them a lot and do and you know does do a lot of sacrifices for them also right other than that moon in the ascendant is very good it gives comfort luxuries mental peace and solace to the native the only problem is life have a lots of ups and downs and what we call settlement having a permanent job a permanent home does not come early in life it only come after the age of 40 50 right other than that lot of travel also happens in life and major opportunities gain of money etc happen while they are traveling or after they have just returned from travel they should live near water bodies generally these people are born near prominent water bodies they should at least visit a religious place once a year if they want their better multiple properties vehicle conveniences are there financially the native is blessed 
professionally also the native is well to do there is quick progress in life and native generally achieves everything very early if others achieve what other achieves by 50 years of age native achieves by 35 40 years of age only so life is very speedy life is very good the native is well adored by everyone most importantly native is very famous if such natives have a side business if native have self employment then it is very good for the native people want to be connected to such native in professions related to fame making youtube videos politics etc native is very successful native also have natural talents of painting singing drawing etc like right, right right the native is experts in the matter of love and love making in sexuality also the native is very expert native himself is very beautiful and attractive and also have a very beautiful and attractive life partner if the moon is close to sun if the moon is between shukla uh, krishna ashtami to shukla panchami then the life partner is very diseased and because of the disease of life partner native also have troubled life and the native himself also can be troubled other than that it is very good much travel is there in life and generally these people do not settle at their birthplace they only do well when they settle far away from birthplace these people have much happiness of ornaments and jewelry they love to dress well they love to show off and ornaments and jewelry they love to wear right wearing good dresses showing it to people going to parties they do they have a good friend circle and friends help them as well right donation of water keeping water bodies clean right donating in projects such as namami gange or save kaveri etc is very useful for them specifically uh, feeding uh, fishes having aquarium in home is also very beneficial that they should do they should dress well and should wear clean clothes that is very important if they want to remain fortunate in life with mars what i have seen with mars in the ascendant the native looks younger than their age point 1 generally these people are very much surrounded by the people of opposite gender people who have mars in ascendant people of opposite gender flock around them and everyone is very curious to talk to them have relationship with them so they are eye candy of people of another gender females having uh, mars in ascendant many male are behind them for relationship friendship etc male having mars in ascendant many females are behind them for relationship friendship etc that is there along with that mars in the ascendant it generally gives good success to native quite early in life but in the middle part of life say between 30 to 60 years of life there is either one major setback or the progress is not as quick and as astonishing as it was before 30 so this is something that the native should make peace with relationship with siblings can be okay but generally i have seen that mars in the ascendant siblings are only liability and responsibility and only in few cases when mars is positive and powerful siblings actually happen to be an asset person generally have good control over themselves and they are not given to anger they are very kind hearted they want to help everyone these are the best people you can meet once you win their trust they can do anything for you they are very cool calm controlled but at the same point of time people misuse their simplicity they are often cheated and this cheating comes from the those people whom they trust maximum family members spouse etc these people are also victim of uh, theft theft burglary fraud these people are generally victim of these things as well these people what i have seen start having health problems from quite early in age and generally the health problems that they have are either arising out of bad habits smoking drinking alcohol etc or those problems which cannot be completely cured diabetes etc so these things are also there these people should do regular exercise learn things such as martial arts judo karate etc for their betterment physical activity is must otherwise there will be you know otherwise fortunes will decline with the gain in weight that is there along with this you see mars in ascendant also gives much responsibilities on the native more than what he can comfortably do 
the native lives in such a situation where he is always tensed and thinking about something before the one thing gets resolved a new responsibility is there mental peace and solace is not there though financially the native can be blessed can be blessed it generally is not right but because of responsibility he get hardly any money to spend on themselves despite being the highest earner in the family or sole bread and butter earner in the family cheatings and frauds for purpose of getting a job in the matters of property and vehicle is common right so about this the native should be careful about it generally the life partner can humiliate them blackmail them can cause them shame marital life is not very good in many cases i have seen marriage breaking in one day 15 days one year only the relationship with life partner is very bitter many a times it go up to the level of court cases as well though these people are very calm cool controlled and generally don't want to fight but people will instigate that instigate them to fight in these matters also these people should keep control over themselves because they lose a lot of things specifically through litigations and fights and competition they generally have sudden unfortunate events in life which break their balance and disrupt their planning so they should always have you know some extra funds for tough times and all things related to insurance etc they should opt for people are jealous of them and they are looking for a chance when they can attack them attack the native you know backbite about the native and make him lose the position basically native is at a place which many people want to occupy and to do that they constantly work towards making the position of the native we and uh, making uh, and and you know to false to put false allegations on the native about this thing the native should be careful and native should avoid being a victim by use of proper intelligence sudden unfortunate events are there as i told you diseases are there as i already told you when you look at the life of the native it seems like that the native is unfortunate unfortunate in the sense that when everything good is happening after multiple efforts patience and hard work of the native then suddenly someone dies or some disease breaks up such issues are there relationship with father is either not good or okay is either bad or it is just like the father and son are living together just for the sake of keeping a peace in family but it is never a very loving relationship as such foreign contacts are there friends and social circle is there but false allegation because of jealousy you see generally such cases that someone wanted to have a relationship with you but they could not have you refused them and then they became revengeful and did your damage is a case which is seen when mars is there in the ascendant or mars is influencing the ascendant so regarding this the native should be careful generally the native can get in relationship with someone who is either already married or can get married to someone who wanted to marry someone else but could not marry so they married the native right so marrying with already married spouse having affair with already married spouse whereas the native is still bachelor is indicated by mars in the ascendant generally it also indicates that native loves a uh, loves someone so much that they motivates the people to break their currently going relationship and be in relationship with the native this is then marked with loss either the native loses this life partner which they have gained in such a way or this life partner is taken away by someone else swayed in the same manner as they have swayed the life partner from their first one that so this is something very essential with mars in the 7th house these people are very kind hearted they work for the welfare of the society that is there mars is also very generous so in helping people donating to the society these people are really into it they really want to create change in the society they have great mercy on all beings animal human all of them they should not eat non vegetarian food at all people who have lost something in war handicapped people and people who are suffering from long standing disease they should help them uh, even orphans they should help them in every possible way uh, they should give money and resources to animal shelters bird shelters right that proves to be a very great remedy for them that these people should follow
specifically with mars and the ascendant what you will see that the shape of the eye of the native is not uniform so one eye is bigger as compared to another eye this also happens life is generally marked by many failed relationships and these people generally have affairs at their workplace as well and uh, there are many people who want to lure them in relationships uh, either by hook or by crook this is something about which the native should be careful mercury in the ascendancy mercury in the ascendant will also become digable so native is intelligence native is virtuous native is beautiful native is attractive native have good social contact native is like a prince so he gets multiple things almost his income and how he will live in life is well sorted because of family so father is rich father have a lot of resources multiple properties etc they get these people are also very intelligent very learned good in speaking right they have natural instinct for acting they are well versed in skills as well they have many great social contacts and 80% of the time their life is made easy only because of their contacts they don't have to do much hard work either i will say they are incapable of hard work much hard work they cannot do mental power they can use physical hard work they can do very rarely physical hard work is very difficult for them to do right so th that is also there with a mercury in the ascendant along with this see mercury in the ascendant the native is beautiful the native is handsome the body parts are very gracious right native is epitome of you know what a good what a beautiful male or what a beautiful female should look like they are epitome of it right they are also very clever in the matters of mathematics and finances they are very clever into it they have good relationship with their siblings no uh, their efforts give them result rarely their efforts goes for a waste they are very courageous as well great risk takers generally they gain much through investments until and unless they have done a really bad investment they don't get losses through investments so that is there there is not much competition in life the place of the native is very secure with father the relationship is not good but mother loves and supports the native greatly right so that is there and uh, many servants are there native lives a royal life he don't have much worry about uh, profession and money native have great social status finances living conveniences are well sorted out life partner is also very beautiful and skilled these people are generally you know these people greatly enjoy the wealth and skills of their life partner right cheating in marriage and having many casual relationships which make others feel that this native is not dependable is also very common with mercury in the ascendant mercury in the ascendant person is one such person that until and unless you know the native you will think that the native is the best person in the world very good into speaking very mannered he will look but as you know the native closely you will see the dark side and there you will see that the native is so lazy and so accustomed of others doing thing for him that he do not want to do things himself of course that will happen these bad results will happen when mercury is afflicted otherwise not in other cases native actually lives a kingly life and he is in one such position where he don't have to do much so that is also again because native is intelligence income of money right securing good profession name fame status is you know taken care of in the life so that's that's not an issue in profession natives native have a you know native have a very commanding very great position in profession the native enjoys so that is also there and uh, in politics and in things related to fame making youtube videos and you know acting etc the native excels well native also does very native also do very good in writing books poem stories etc they can also be very good into astrology business specifically suits them a lot right they are fond of things which amuse you know things of amusement they are fond of it right so traveling and having luxuries in life they are fond of it they want it and if they don't get it 
then they start feeling suffocated so that is there and uh, with mercury in ascendant one thing is there the starting part of life you say up to 38 40 years of age there is no problem native lives a princely life the mother father have taken care of everything he have to do nothing he have to just do his part and live in comfort zone and live peacefully is what suits them but if somehow they don't do anything up to the age of 40 then their life become disbalanced and goes into a decline and then they are in such a situation that there is no one to blame in their life because whatever happens, happens because of them only. So they cannot blame that my father have not given me anything or my family have not given me anything because they have actually given everything and the destruction that have happened in the life of the native have only happened because of the laziness that's a problem. One bad part with Mercury in the ascendant is that friend circle can be actually bad for the native where the friends don't really like you but they are only you know, they are only bootlickers around you who are doing well in their life, but don't want you to do well. They just want you to keep you as a company, keep you as an entertainment. Don't want you to do anything right. Don't want you to succeed, but right. They themselves are working on their own life. So these are the people who are like, you know, like they will have friends who have business and they will want you to sit at their shop for the whole day and talk. So in this way, you are wasting your time while they are doing their work. And at the time of need, none of these friends will come to your rescue. Right. Marital life, uh, marital life is not very good. I will say there is argument, constant complaints and problem with life partner is there. Dissatisfaction from life partner is there. The biggest problem in the life of the native is they cannot make a firm decision. First of all, they take time to reach on a particular decision. After they have reached on the decision, implementation is very difficult. And implementation is very difficult. And as they start implementing it, they will become dubious and doubtful about their own ideas itself, which is the major problem. This is something that they should avoid. Right. Thinking comprehensively on something, making a firm decision and then sticking to it is the biggest thing it is the biggest thing that they should do this is the you know big, biggest shortcoming of their nature donating books reading books regularly going library regularly being a part of intellectual group donation of clothes on a regular basis is something that they should do reading chanting vishnu sastranam following a particular guru being a devotee to vishnu is something that works very miraculously for them most importantly, sleeping on the ground, planting trees, taking care of the purity of soil, cleaning your home, wearing clean clothes, taking care of cleanliness and preserving the soil, using green sources of energy is something that is very life-changing for them. So this is what they should do. Jupiter in Ascendant is also very good. Jupiter in Ascendant, first of all, saves the native from multiple diseases. And it is told that if there is Jupiter, Mercury or Venus in the Ascendant, then even thousand blemishes of the horoscope, blemishes such as planets going in Gandhan, planet being weak, etc. is taken care of. Right. So this is a good person, great person, have good quality, have good character, right? Ethical, moral. And most importantly, with Jupiter in the ascendant, life is blessed by God. So they get right thing at right point of time. If they are not getting things in life, that is because of two reasons only. Either the right time have not came or the native is not doing even, even bare minimum. If the native does the bare minimum and if it is the right time, then everything will happen for sure. But certainly this will apply when Jupiter in the ascendant is powerful, not afflicted. If the Jupiter is afflicted or is into a bad condition, then negative results will be more prominent as compared to positive result. This is basic of astrology. And I think all of you know this. The speciality with Jupiter in ascendant is that the native is very popular and no manner, no matter how great sinner the native is, the world cannot see his sin. The world thinks that the native is an epitome of purity, character, ethics, and morals. 
the bad side of the native never comes in front of the society these are people who can do a crime and can get easily away out of it and there will be no repercussions because the life is blessed profession money they don't have to take much care of in profession there is competition sometimes the promotions etc can be delayed but ultimately native comes out as victorious native is also very religious highly supported by their father and elders very probable to have a government job very fortunate in life as well at right point of time with a bare minimum of uh, efforts results come as i already told you good social contact is there international level of contact is there whatever investments native make he is successful into it the native can invest 100 rupees and will earn 1000 rupees that is there for sure right native never really loses something in life even if they lose something it is temporary and better thing is yet to come is what can be told about this native for sure native is very intelligent all the ideas and plans of the native fructify the way they want so in that manner native should be careful of not thinking about negative things and not be, not having melancholy in their nature not being depressed not feeling dejected because if they think this way it will manifest and this will come to through unknown sources lottery stock market they gain a lot they have good children which makes them proud as well that they are generally followed by many but the problem with these people is that they cannot follow anyone even if someone gives them the best idea just because of having novelty or just because of you know the ego of not listening to anyone or not doing what others are doing they will do something else which though may take extra time and extra effort from their part but they will do that only right so this is a tendency that they should take control of they should control the marital relationship is not very cordial but you can say it is satisfactory there are differences between the couple but both of them keep quiet and because of responsibility responsibility of family responsibility of children they sustain the marriage as well but at any scenario it cannot be told to be a good marriage affair after marriage can be very common love marriage is generally seen right either it is a love marriage or marriage by choice where the native had three four options to marry and he chose the one option by their own choice it is not like the native had no option and whichever option came to the native native have to compromise on that this is never the case right in life expansion happens over time so as they grow older more resources more money more contacts come native is very prestigious because the native is popular he have great contacts and 80% of the things in life happen because of these contacts only so native don't have to worry much as well getting treasure good inheritance gaining things because of family member because family members have left good property good amount of money for the native is also very common native does well in life native is successful and people want to become like the person these people should wear something in their neck their neck should not be empty some rosary or something they should wear reading one page of a religious scripture at least reading one page of an spiritual scripture should be done daily a daily religious practice of worshiping god going to temple should be maintained donation of food specifically fruits should be done and whoever comes to native at least verbally guiding or giving idea should be done faithfully honestly that means the native should not give bad idea or should not misguide anyone right should not misuse their knowledge to harm someone are a few remedies that they need to succeed in life also spending some time in open air sitting some time in sunlight taking sunlight drinking a lot of juices using perfume is a great remedy for natural perfumes which uh, which uh, have smell like flowers and a jasmine rose etc is very beneficial for the native venus in the ascendant as i told you already venus mercury or jupiter in the ascendant saves the horoscope from tens and hundreds of tens and hundreds of blemishes 
So success in life is ensured when any of these three planets are there in the ascendant. So that is there. Venus in ascendants give high libido. So that is their native is very sexual, have multiple relationships right from that, right from adolescence. So that is there. There is some speciality with the hair of the natives. So either the hair is cur curly or the hair, hair color they have changed. They are into, you know, having tattoos, etc. of the body. These people prefer. Right. Venus in the ascendant native is darling family, darling of family members. Name, fame, status is there. People come to the native for guidance and advice. He is a well-known, well-established, popular personality in the society. Things related to name, fame, status, uh, making YouTube videos, politics, and acting, <clears throat> drama. These things should suit the native, is favorable for the native. S-U-I-T, suit the native. I don't know how to pronounce that. That is there. Also, eyes, there is speciality in eyes. Either the eyes are very beautiful. The color of the eyes are different. That is also there with Venus in the ascendant. And the native is skilled. That native have multiple skills, reading, writing, dancing, poetry. These skills are there. Native loves, you know, fashion, dressing up well, looking well. Native loves it and native should do it. Because this also works as a great remedy. Right? Users of perfume is also a great remedy for Venus. Native should look and present in an appearable, good appearable manner. Native should be clean shaven. Native should be clean and tidy. Right? As a remedy as well, if the native is not keeping this way. Generally, Venus in the ascendant, native will be this way only. A weak Venus makes your face nistage lusterless. So you make sure that your face is not lusterless. Otherwise, Venus will become more and more weak. So take care of your face and body is the biggest remedy for Venus. Financially, the native is blessed. Professionally also, it is good. Native have a prominent position. In, in the case of Jupiter and Venus, both in the ascendant, native have, almost, native have a very prominent position in their profession. CEO or second to the, second to the boss level, they have. It's second, only second to the owner of the company. They are right, both Venus and Jupiter. But that will only happen when they are unafflicted and strong in the ascendant. If they are afflicted and weak in the ascendant in that particular scenario, rising up higher in the hierarchy of their job or profession will be very difficult, right? So just the opposite result have to be taken as per the common sense that you are having in plenty, right? That should be done. There are Change of residence. The native is born at some other place, practices their profession at some other place, ultimately settles at some other place. Right? Native travels a lot. And generally, in traveling, after traveling, there is a surge, upsurge in financial, uh, financial fortunes of the native. And major opportunities, such as meeting life partner, or getting offer of a new job, finding about a new business idea happens when the native is traveling. So traveling should be done frequently. Keeping your main door clean and beautiful. Placing your nameplate, advertising your nameplate, etc. Keeping your nameplate clean, placing name, placing a big nameplate in front of your home, etc. is also a great remedy for Venus. Venus in the ascendant, there is no financial worry for the native. Family members are supportive. Family members do a lot for natives, so they have much things in inheritance. And, you know, multiple properties, multiple vehicles, multiple conveniences they have. Their life partner is also very beautiful and skilled. Life partner also earns well, so there is no worry in life from the side of life partner. They are very libidous. So that's the biggest problem that because of libido, they can ignore other important things in life that they should not do. Right. Marriage is good. Their life partner loves them. At any given point of time, it can be told satisfactory, but not bad. Only in worst conditions when the Venus is very much afflicted in the ascendant, marriage will marriage will be bad. But then you have to remember that marriage primarily depends on the seventh house. Right? So that is something that you have to keep in mind. Venus, If Venus is in the ascendant, it will have a role. But seventh house, you cannot ignore. This, you know, this is basic of astrology. Right? You have to synchronize all the multiple factors of predictions 
And after this synchronization, you have to predict the result. And this synchronization is an art that is mastered only after experience. That's why you need a good experienced astrologer to do this thing. That good experienced astrologer, you can become, if you watch all of my videos, take proper notes and apply it on horoscopes, understand it, develop your understanding. Then you can also become that good astrologer. That's, there is no two thought about it. Right? Eyes of the native is very beautiful. Eating habits are also very good. If the, you know, if there is some foul smell coming from the mouth of the native, Venus becomes very bad. So uses of mouth freshener, etc. Eating pan, beetle leaves, etc. should be done. Keeping your mouth clean, brushing daily, keeping your tongue clean should be maintained, should be done if you want Venus to give you good results. <clears throat> right. Relationship with siblings are also okay. Native is a darling of everyone. Good social status they enjoy. Many people come to consult the native. Life is good. Saturn in the ascendancy. Saturn in ascendant is only good in own Rashi. Capricorn Aquarius. Exaltation Rashi Libra. Or into Sagittarius Pisces. In these cases, native is high placed professional. Very famous, very authoritative. People want to become like him, but no one can compete him. He have his own speciality and financially he is secure. Marital life is good. Life partner loves them and are highly dedicated and devoted to them. The only problem in marriage that can happen is they tend to ignore their life partner, which they should not do. If they are not ignoring their life partner, then their marital life is very good, very brilliant. Life partner is dedicated, devoted and can do any sacrifice for these people. Even if the life partner is Homemaker, if they see if if they see that their husband or wife is having uh, even slight difficulty in earning money, they will making a complete uh, transformation in their lives, uh, leaving their <clears throat> home. They can also work. They are so much dedicated to the native, so it is very good. But the only thing is, native tend to ignore the life partner, which can be problematic. Problem related to sexual compatibility can be there, so that is one of the major reasons. Generally, such people are humiliated. Saturn in ascendant. Generally, such people are humiliated, have problems and enmity with governmental people or people who are placed higher in society. So don't have differences with them. Don't mess up with them. If they are trying to disturb you, take a defensive step to do these things, right? These natives are very courageous. They can, do, they can do anything when they are properly motivated or angry, but they should not lose their mind and take any step which they will repent later on. Taking decisions in the spur of anger or happiness should be highly avoided, otherwise it will be problematic. Siblings generally remain responsibility over them. Female siblings may give them happiness, male siblings are a problem. So have your distance with your siblings is the best thing that I will recommend. Other than that, Saturn in the ascendant, there is at least one major setback or shock in life. Be prepared for that. Ego or the feeling that I am the best should be avoided. Taking a lot of responsibilities more than what you can handle should be avoided. And before taking any step, before marrying, before producing children, before leaving a job, joining a job, proper thinking should be done. Doing things only in the spur of the moment in the and under the swift ecstasy, happiness or anything should not be done. Otherwise, it will be problematic. Generally, people are jealous of those people who have Saturn in ascendant. People are very much jealous of them and try to spread, you know, fake news against the native. Try to, you know, malign the reputation of the native. Try to humiliate the native. Try to instigate the native uh, to do something towards which they should save themselves. False allegation, etc. is very common. The relationship between mother and father is not very cordial, but the native is a trendsetter. This native with Saturn in the ascendant tries to find out, you know, problems in society and they greatly works towards rectifying those challenges, which are already there in the society. And uh, they are also successful in doing that. The misery and suffering of people, they try to change social activity. They do specifically helping masses and inferior class people. They also do right. Their name, fame, status is there. 
बट मेनी एनिमीज मेनी जेलस पीपल आर देयर हु वॉन्ट टू होल्ड द नेटिव तो फॉर रिगार्डिंग दिस द नेटिव शुड बी वेरी केयरफुल विच एवर पर्सन द नेटिव थिंग्स बैड अबाउट और विच एवर पर्सन द नेटिव कर्जेस गेट्स डिस्ट्रॉइड फॉर श्योर बट this is the native should not do because once the native starts thinking about negativity or enmity etc then it only keeps on increasing in the life of the native so this should be strongly avoided otherwise there will be long term problems other than that in life many diseases are there there is not a single year where the native have lived complete disease free so regular check up proper intake of depleting vitamins and minerals taking care of the body not forming bad habits etc should be done right otherwise there will be problem cutting your nails on time being clean and tidy and taking care of you know people who are suffering from diseases orphans etc giving some extra money or giving some extra donating to the people who are at the lower level of the society specifically donating tools so to those people who are skilled but are not having money to afford tools or purchase better tools is a very great remedy for saturn donation on amavasya and donations on evening is very good for saturn right donation of shoes and umbrella which is considered a great donation specifically in this chaturmas rainy season which is going right now is considered a great donation right so that should also be done for saturn if rahu is there in the ascendant then person should not have any type of pet animal in home otherwise that will be problematic many false allegation and blame is there on the native so should be careful about it whatever the native do it should be properly documented there should be no loophole otherwise people can misuse and people can put false allegations etc on the native just to blackmail them or extort things from these people so they should be careful they are they are intelligent so because they are intelligent they secure a good place in society because of their intelligence they also enjoy good professional status and position generally financial condition is taken care of they belong from a well to do family mother and father leave much resources wealth property for them and do them do much for them as well with father there can be some difference of opinion but mother they mother their mothers are good their mothers support them saturn saturn in the ascendant people are very much attached towards their mother and they attached to their mother and they make great sacrifices for their mother right rahu in the ascendant native is very clever i told you and only because of being clever he achieves many things in life in black magic tantra they should not get caught in black magic tantra otherwise their life becomes very negative right do realization of godhead proficiency in tantra etc they have and a mantra siddhi etc they have but they should use it for good purpose only otherwise it becomes very very problematic they are great risk takers their investments succeed there is no investments where they have loss but specifically this people have a peculiar trait of earning money even out of garbage just after a first of all these people can use anything secondarily they can easily renovate things and sell it at a higher prices this is their great skill right in the matters of you know vehicles and property they have plenty but mental peace they don't have lot of responsibility is there on the native marriage is delayed some two three failed see but serious and strong affairs before marriage is seen marital life is somehow disturbed though the life partner is good dedicated devoted but the nature character and behavior of the native is what disrupts the marriage It's specifically loss of interest in life partner or getting greatly attracted towards anyone else is what wrecks havoc in their marital life much competition enmity and jealousy of people is there towards them nothing comes easily right things comes after much hurdle and hardship so they should be prepared for that and at least they should have a guide from opposite gender if they are male they should have a female guide if they are female they should have a male guide which should be preferably a friend listening to their advices 
following their advices they succeed greatly in life otherwise not they are very fortunate and at least there is 10 15 year span in life where luck supports them and give them everything more than what they need if they value it at that point of time and make things which are necessary home property vehicle etc then the life remains good otherwise things are lost and the person just uh, you know keeps on thinking that i had everything but i did nothing now everything is lost what do i do right they also have ability to reach at the top zenith of their profession where they are the most accomplished professional very sought after right enjoying the level enjoying the level of celebrity in their profession is indicated by uh, rahu and is also indicated by ketu ketu also gives you quick fame in your profession you reach at the top of your profession you enjoy celebrity status at your profession you are well supported by your boss also and by your subordinates as well everyone loves you much name fame and status is there so much that if the person becomes an actor or goes into politics they greatly succeed ketu in the ascendant makes the native very beautiful very attractive looking and the most attractive people that you see in a crowd are people with ketu in the ascendant very beautiful very fine skin right tattoo on the body curly hair right good fashion sense attractive looking is what ketu makes you financially some bad financial decisions one can make but financially they are blessed and no matter how much money they spend at the end of the day they still have money to meet their needs they earn greatly from their profession also and by their family as well they get good amount of money and wealth what i have seen that the money and wealth that they get from family they may lose they may lose because of some reason or the other and can later repent that i must have used it in this way or that way and that should have been better i have lost it but nonetheless getting wealth and property from family is something that happens for sure without any doubt they also have good relationship with their siblings though it is generally seen that ketu in the ascendant make your siblings jealous and inimical towards you but at least at the prima facie outward at the worldly level siblings love you and do a lot of things for you they have great happiness and you see tensions and misery is there in life but some great happiness is there which gives them peace and solace so you say professional life is very good right but finance is a little bit of issue in this particular case person knows that that because though i am don't have money right now but in my profession i am at a less interest status at any point of time if i want to earn money i can earn money that's not an issue so such things are there <clears throat> right one great solace is there and multiple small tensions are also there the native is much into philanthropy right donating food donating clothes to people they should do they generally do taking care of birds and animals very beneficial for them they generally have twin children multiple children they have their children are also accomplished and well to do right they have many people who are jealous of them secretly want to compete with them but openly they have no serious enemy because everyone is their fan at the end of the day enemies are only hidden and they have enmity in mind only but their position is so authoritative ketu in the ascendant that this enemies cannot accept enmity up front ketu in the ascendant is bad for marriage it gives multiple marriages failed relationships cheating torture blackmailing physical mental abuse from life partner is there in fact cheating of money from life partner can also become there failed relationships is there right broken promises are there and in any type of relationship and in the matters of trust person is cheated badly of which the native should be careful about this particular thing but ultimately native gets a very good relationship where the life partner is very loving and all the wishes and desires of the native come true ketu in the ascendant any of your wish or desire that you have in life cannot go unfulfilled it will come true for sure right native do not religious but understands dharma and responsibility towards the society towards family which they fulfill which they fulfill no matter whatever happens ketu in the ascendant gives you best type of personality where you don't tell anything that can hurt the hurt anyone where you are very conscious of what you are speaking and you have great control over your anger as well right so this gives one of the best types of 
the best type of uh, personality now coming to the houses quickly i will tell you ascendant lord in ascendant makes the uh, we have already talked about it ascendant lord in ascendant ascendant will become powerful native is very successful famous lives long generally lives disease free right great popularity is there wealth professional status is taken care of right native is an achiever have legendary status in life does well in business many people are dependent on him and person is capable of providing everything to family members and many other people as well there is no desire of a native that is not fulfilled in the life legendary status the native has ascendant lord in the second house it separates people from family the native generally lives alone there is no real friend and supporter in reality people say that they care for you but they don't actually care for you and that you realize at the time of distress other than that lagna lord in the second house financially you are blessed your family members do much for you your family members always come to your support and rescue there can be problem because of bad eating habits that should be taken care of native is very beautiful very attractive earns good amount of money have good resources as well multiple properties and vehicle they have and enjoy but their marital life can be problematic tough and challenging lagna lord in third house person is very courageous if person is putting efforts in any direction that cannot go fail and person will succeed for sure the only problem is putting efforts in any direction secondarily person sometime can take risks in a hurry or without thinking much which can prove to be a disaster for the native about this the native should be careful even if the native makes home early in life they cannot live there and enjoy the happiness so they should make home late happiness of conveniences is very easily found out so that's not there so th that's no problem native have good supports of friend native have good support of friend and family member and at the time of distress he have many people who will help him he also have good contacts so many things happen very easily in life because the native is having good contact enjoying vip status native is also very courageous and because of his courage he can achieve multiple things the planning of the native works well and if the native is doing something after much contemplation and much planning and if he have well thought over it then things succeed financially there is no problem there is favor by luck also and native is well to do but ups and downs are there in life settlement happens late in life though the native have a lot of achievements but enjoying that achievement is difficult bodily weakness and diseases from young age is there many challenges and competition are also there and enemies can cause great losses and disrupt your life greatly lagna lord in fourth house live in your birthplace live near your birthplace that's the only remedy if you don't live then life is disrupted all type of happiness conveniences multiple properties vehicles are there person is very famous person is very popular in professions related to fame and popularity they excel well but they should be connected to their homeland right in works related to agriculture they excel well right but in professional life great setbacks are also seen relationship with siblings are not very good the relationship with family members mother father is also difficult right native succeeds only in the later part old age of life right in young age there is a struggle only cheatings in the matter of property accidents from vehicle or accidents because of carelessness can commonly happen it is also not very good for happiness from children children can create great trouble and worry the native wins in all type of competition fights and litigations so that is very good marital life is also okay okay many ups and downs are there in marital life but generally it does not break until and unless the seventh house is highly afflicted love marriage is also there and life partner supports the native under all situations and circumstances lagna lord in fifth house the native is very intelligent high achiever whatever is the plans etc of the native that fulfills giving great success to the native 
money is earned through multiple sources multiple professions multiple jobs and also earning money through investment stock market etc happens as well regarding children it is not very good this combination also indicates few number of progeny lack of progeny abortions etc enemies disrupt the life greatly because of competition the success or achieving things can be delayed because of enmity person have to lose great amount of wealth mental peace etc as well there is always tension of saving the things that the native possesses from others right multiple properties and vehicles are there good support from siblings and family members are there right but marital life cannot be said to be very good so either the native is unmarried or if they are married then marital life is very bad and children don't happen and if there are children then children only cause same and problem to the native life is long native generally lives disease free native is fortunate and if native follows a guru diligently and have spiritual practices then it is very brilliant then native needs nothing and native enjoys a great position in professional life as well a great literary and academic figure he is and everyone bows down to his intelligence he is so if the lagna lord goes to the sixth house much competition trouble litigation fights are there in life and because of this mental peace is disturbed loss of money can also happen major health issues disturb the life of the native one should take care of their weight should take vitamin mineral supplements should have a regular check up and save themselves from accidents and going into fights otherwise it it can cause you know matlab health related issues it can also cause right going into fight because of beating uh, breaking of bones etc this can happen financial losses etc it can also create native have children gets happiness from children children make them proud that is there multiple properties multiple sources of income is there support from family members and siblings are there but marital life is not very good differences from life partner separation from life partner problems in marriages multiple marriages failed relationships are there longevity is good but after the middle part of life after the age of 50 55 health does not keeps well and the native can be cheated by fake gurus and such people so about this the native should be careful lagna lord in 7th house lots of ups and downs are there in life if the native is living at their birth place their life will be very problematic live away from birth place they will generally live away from birth place they should live away from birth place much competition fight litigation is there in life everyone wants to compete with you no one wants you to succeed people become friends at your face but behind your back they want to take your position they are highly jealous of you be careful of it the marital life is very brilliant husband and wife are devoted and dedicated to each other lagna lord in 7th house 7th lord in lagna according to me is a combination where native marries anyone the horoscope is matching or not matching does not matter their marital life with little bit of effort provided the fact both the people are sane and they understand their responsibility their marital life is very good and brilliant without any doubt so biggest blessing is marital life however financial financial and professional struggle can be there but siblings support them there is happiness from property matlab tension free in the matters of property native have property at least one property and that they enjoy right tension free in the matter of vehicle as well native have a vehicle which they enjoy progeny is difficult right abortions lack of progeny loss of progeny delayed progeny tension etc because of progeny can be there native have a good nature so much enmity is not there right though there is competition in life but native ultimately succeeds there are no real enemies right competition is also very less a peaceful normal life native can live if the native remains careful right the life is not very long it is 60 65 life is maximum some major health issues major setbacks because of accidents etc can be there about which the native should be careful lagna lord in 8th house either the native is if the native is disciplined if the native is self made if the native gets nothing from family members in inheritance etc then the native is greatly successful 
big business tycoon, very successful, well to do. If there is good relationship with family members, native get things in litigation. Uh, sorry, native gets thing, native get yeah, native gains through litigation. Native have uh, good inheritance. Then in that particular scenario, Lagna allowed in eight house keep you weak, keep you diseased. So diseased that native cannot focus on their profession or anything properly because they are suffering from one or the other disease very quickly. Life is disturbed, life is disrupted, body is weak. That's the major point. Financial problem is not there. Defamation, bad name, fame, status can be there. Health is a major problem, right? Relationship with siblings cannot be very cordial. So see, three things are there. Either the relationship with sibling is very cordial or the relationship with sibling is not very cordial. Now, in this particular sense, some people have a normal relationship with their sibling and they think that this is a good relationship. No. Good relationship is a good relationship. Normal relationship is a bad relationship. And normal relationship means sibling is living their own life. You are living your own life. They don't care about you. You don't care about them. It is bad. Sibling. That should be understood in this way. Native is always tensed. Native have great responsibilities. And because of health issue or because of commitments or because of something or the other, native cannot focus even at those things which are most important. Native cannot do anything peacefully. He is under constant pressure, constant tension. This is the biggest problem with Lagna Lord in the eighth house. In the matter of progeny, they are blessed. And after the birth of child, their fortune takes a good turn. And as their children start earning, their life becomes good. Prosperity comes in life. Right. Enmity, competition, litigation does great losses to them. Cheating, financial fraud, etc. can also happen. They should be careful about it. First marriage or first serious relation, relationships before marriage are unsuccessful. Gives great shock, deceit, humiliation to the native. If native do not have any relationship before marriage, then the First marriage is very difficult to survive and it is problematic. Generally, luck does not support the native. So it takes time for the native to succeed and stabilize his life and for everything to put everything at correct place. It will take much time and much effort from the native side. Once it have done, even before the native has enjoyed the stability for two, three years, some unexpected bad result, such as financial fraud, death of some near or dear one, etc., will happen, which will again disrupt the life of the native. So, shocking bad events happen very often in the life of the native, which is problematic. Right. Lagna Lord in 9th house, native is spiritual, native is fortunate, almost have everything in life. Right. Bad relationship with father is there. Initially up to 40, 45 years of life, they have to struggle, right? They lose many major, fine, many major professional opportunities in life. They lose in the matter of finances. Also, they struggle, but they are lucky. So even after losing many great professional opportunities, even after having difficulty in earning money, their needs are getting fulfilled. Great support from siblings are there. Accumulation of property and vehicle happen late in life. Their children makes them proud. After childbirth, there is great, uh, great progress in life. There is great success in life. Many enemy competition litigation is not there, but because of going into litigation, etc., they can greatly lose their mental peace, resources and finances. Marital life is not very good. Generally, it indicates more than one marriage or multiple affairs before and after marriage. Longevity is good, right? Many ups and downs are not there in life. So life is almost stable, right? They are respected in society and generally people come to, there for, come to them for advice. If they diligently follow a guru and if they have a strict spiritual practice, then slowly, slowly. Things become better in life. Lagna Lord in 10,000, the native is very successful, very well to do. 
he is the idol for many people want to become like him the native is legendary much name fame status is there native is so great that anything he starts doing he will succeed into this succeed into that only thing that he need is complete focus and some efforts right native does well if they do business very beautiful very attractive very charming enjoys a great position in their profession right he is not dependent on the company company is dependent on him if he is working uh, if he is having job if he is doing business then it is an international business where much name fame and status the native earns from sibling and from children bad relationship is there problems because of siblings and children are there child birth is difficult to delayed children and siblings bring difficulty shame and they are only responsibility on the native property and vehicle there is no tension native have property and vehicle and native enjoys that as well but native have many enemies both hidden and open and because of litigation fight native lose native loses much time resources and money marital life is good wife life partner is dedicated and devoted to the life partner but there are situations where the native goes into such condition that the life partner have to come forward and take the responsibility of the native right life partners highly dedicated devoted to the native life partner also comes from a good family background so serves as a very very good support right life is somewhere around 80 to 90 years right this is a rough idea longevity estimation is a very difficult task in astrology right so life is also good generally the native lives disease free he have a strong body lagna lord in 11th house the progress happens slowly in life only after the age of 50 person can actually succeed daily income is well to do right the needs and desires of the native is fulfilled right in other things right money is never too much but needs and desires are fulfilled do family member try to support the native but native by his nature and do not engage much with family members which later on he realizes that is his mistake but that is okay siblings try to support the native and at the time of distress they support the native as well but native himself does not maintain cordial relationship with them do multiple properties and vehicles can be there but native either do not enjoy them so do, do, do not accumulate more of them or because of the care lessness of the native he destroys properties and vehicles can be cheated in these man, matters as well great awards accolades owners is there person is celebrated people want to become like the native he excels in his profession he have good children children's make him proud as well diseases disturb the native and because of diseases responsibility untimely death of people shocking events and great losses life is disturbed and settlement happens late in life right enemies create enemies greatly disturb their life and give them great losses of money resources and can give them great tension as well right marital life is not very good right cheating deceit unfaithfulness can be from the partner's side but child birth happens quickly after marriage and uh, yeah like life partner also belongs from good well to do family also is learned have good skills but actually do not want to contribute to the life of the native to make it better life partner just want to enjoy right and this is something that comes as a challenge to the native professionally the native enjoys a good position in life and is well to do right lagna lord is going into 12th house in a good condition native is very great takes their takes the status of the family many times up right can make can be very rich very successful if lagna lord is in a good condition or can be self detrimental can take suicide can take decisions which prove to be suicidal if it is afflicted 
body is weak multiple diseases are there and native is generally caught up into things which only waste time native pursue those things native uh, puts his time into those things which he do not want to pursue effectively wasting his time financially it is okay investments give good returns but other than that native cannot save much money if the native tries to save good amount of money then what happens he loses the money because of fraud diseases etc so the native should save money through appropriate means of fixing it in bank deposits etc or should invest it into property etc keeping cash in bank account is not very good also by birth the native is not much blessed with respect to inheritance and native have to make everything from scratch relationship with siblings is okay okay they come at support but other than that the relationship is not very cordial frauds related to property accidents from vehicle happen and person can purchase vehicle and property only late in life if they purchase it early then they cannot enjoy it properly happiness from children is not there either the children lives separately or children don't like the native child birth also happens late few abortions abortions also happen many enemies are there they disturb the life of the native native is also diseased and weak marital life is not very good though physical enjoyment sexual enjoyment is there but marital life does not last for long multiple relationships are there and because of the more than one marriage is also indicated and because of the bad nature of the native in the starting of the marriage the behavior of the life partner may can change which will not be corrected for the rest of the life it goes at one such a situation that the native and life partner start behaving like enemies towards each other which no with no real care for each other right so th that's a great issue if after marriage they settle at some other place they remain you know they they remain they after marriage they settle to foreign land or if they remain if they live far away from their parents both the husband and wife if they remain away from their parents in that case their marital life is good health problems are there specifically after the age of 38 40 major health problems are there many accidents are also there they can be cheated if they are very desperate to make guru go into a sect have initiation or if they are very desperate in pursuing spirituality then they can be cheated because of it as well professional life is full of ups and downs and the professional uh, position of the native is not stable native faces constant challenges into his professional status so about this the native should be careful right this i have told you the result of planets in the ascendant and ascendant lord in different houses in nutshell and these videos are guidelines on how to think on which lines and the significations that i have used are few right i have just tried to you know exemplify how to use this to read a house of course many more results can be told right that you will know as you keep on watching my youtube